Uh, this question is the remove ladder to equalize frequency. So uh, I'm not going to read over this. Basically, just return true if it is possible to remove one ladder so that the frequency of all ladder in the world are equal, and then otherwise it's going to be false. So the idea is using using a counting array, like just keep uh, counting for every single one of them, right? And then later on, you will just have to just uh, decrement by one frequency and then to check every single else character have the same frequency and then if you do then you do return true if not then you just have to increment back the frequency and then traversing again right so i'm going to just start coding it's going to be easy so counting array new int 26 this is going to be 26 character right and then traversing the word to char array and then Counting array as C minus A plus plus, right? So I need to traverse again for my counting array from 0 to 26, right? And I'm going to just decrement by 1 at I minus minus, increment by 1 again if, if you cannot find it, right? So I'm going to say equal frequency. And I'm going to pass in the counting array. If this is going to be return true, then you return true. If not, it's going to be return false. So let's just write about my helper function equal frequency in counting array right so uh, I'm going to just say count equal to zero so in this one I'm going to just assume um, I need to check every single one of them right so if the counting array at least index is actually equal to zero then I will just continue and also uh, the counting array at the current index and I'm going to continue, continue as well. So uh, let's just start coding. So for uh, int, I'm going to say C again, counting array. So if C is equal to zero, I'm going to continue. And also, I mean, or, or the count is as equal to the C. So count is like the frequency, frequency count, right? So uh, else if uh, count is equal to zero, I'm going to just assign to C. And else, I'm going to return false and return true right over here. So I'm going to summarize this again. So I'm traversing every single one index in the counting array. And then I'm going to assign, sorry, I'm going to assign if the count is actually equal to zero, right? Uh, if, if, uh, if count is actually equal to zero, then I'm assigned if count is actually zero. So which means that in this case, later D, later E, later F is actually equal to zero. Then I'll continue. And also if the letter, if the letter is actually equal to the count, uh, count itself, the index, the frequency, the frequency are the same. I'm going to continue. So everything else, everything else is going to be return false, right? So at the end, if you traverse the entire counting array, then you return true. So uh, this is a little bit uh, tricky. So, oh, I need to make sure this is what? This is array. This is, okay, so I make a pretty, pretty dumb typo. So this is counting array, and this is the count for the frequency. And this is the every single index frequency. So. Alright, so this is a solution. So let's talk about the time and space. This is going to be a space, space, but this one is uh, irrelevant. So this is all of 26, constant. This is all of, uh, this is time, this is also the time, this is also the time. The time is going to be all of W, and this is all of 26. And inside all of 26, you are, all, uh, you are traversing the entire counting array, all of 26 as well. So this will be pretty much like constant. So I would say the time is going to be all of W. W is represent length of the word, and this is going to be a space, 26. All right, so story for the typo, and then just have to look at the equal frequency uh, function. Like, uh, you'll definitely get it. All right, I will see you next time, bye.